Hey everyone, Jared VK3 Bravo Lima here and today I just want to um, cover a few things that I feel the IC7300 does better than the IC7610. So let's get into it. Now at the moment I've got the, the beautiful little radio just listening to some uh, good old 40 meter traffic so I'll just turn it down. Now unfortunately you can't just press the, the knob like you can on the 7610 but you know you can turn it it's not a big deal but that brings me to my first point i actually like the knobs a lot nicer on the 7300 they're not a glossy plastic and they feel firmer and i think that's a big plus i also like the the um well i, I don't know what you call it the the second knob i find that um it, it feels firmer and nicer as well and um I think that's a plus. I don't know why they went with glossy knobs on the 7610, um, but it just reminds me of the cheap car finishes that were very popular um, in, you know, cars made in the year 2000 and to 2010, that sort of thing. I don't like it. It could be a personal preference thing, but to me, this radio looks better quality. <laughs> Surprising to say, but it just does. Even the feel of the top cover is better on the 7300. The 7610 sort of has a, a rough sort of feel to it. Um, whereas the 7300 is a bit, bit smoother. It feels like the paint's a bit, little bit better quality. Um, so all in all, I think the 7300 is a better built radio, which is very surprising. Now, that brings me to do another point that my uh, my good friend now, um, thanks to YouTube, Scott uh, Whiskey X Ray Zero Victor pointed out, is the seventy three hundred has a notch button. You press it, and you it says your notch options come up. If you press and hold it, you can adjust your notch options using the multi knob. You can adjust the width. If you hold that down, no. Nope, that doesn't do anything, sorry, my mistake. Um, you know, I really like it. A notch button. Wow, it goes from notch, auto notch, notch, manual notch, and notch off. And as I said, you hold it down to adjust the manual notch settings. You can also return by going there. Um, so I like it. Why the 7610 doesn't have a notch option, I don't know. Um, you can access it via the multi-menu, this button here, you have to press that in, I know that's a little hard to see, and it is down there with notch, but you, have, you tap it to turn it on. Manual notch, how do I put, uh, how do I put auto notch on? I don't even know. That's one of those things, isn't it? I guess I'll have to read the manual. This radio, on the other hand, I just press the button. So that's two wins. I feel it has better build quality and it's got a notch button. Amazing, quite simple. Now, the other thing I like about it, and this is the real winner and the big elephant in the room, is for the price, it has everything an operator could possibly want. You know, I'm recording this QSO now. Recording was as easy as quick stop, I've stopped recording, quick start, there you go, recording again, it sounds quite nice. So that's an, about an S9 um, signal. We've got filter 2 on, so we'll widen it up a bit. That's probably a bit wide for this particular station. Filter 3 seems to sound quite nice, but very easy to operate. When you go to the menus, the whole screen's full and it's easily laid out. You've got your scope, you've got your audio scope, Whoop, what did I just press there, let's go out of that. Um, you've got your scope option, which is your normal scope. You've got your audio scope, which you can expand. See this station actually has a quite a pronounced notch in their audio there, which is interesting. Um, 
you can see here the level is set wrong. So you just adjust the level like that. You've got your voice keyer, which you can record quite easily. You've got a full set of meters, easily accessible. You've got the little SWR graph utility, completely absent from the 7610. That's another win right there. What are we up to? Build quality, notch button, um, general ease of use, I suppose. The fact it's got the SWR utility. Oh yeah, the great value. You know, we're up to a few things. Um, now, I have, I've never used the memory function. Um, you know, I sort of tend to be a bit of a DXer and a rag chewer, so I just look at the scope and go to the frequencies I've remembered and that sort of thing, but it is there. It's got a scan function. Once again, I haven't used it, but it's there. The record function, record and start, record and stop. You can, you know, there's a few settings you can do there. Um, you can play back the files. It won't play them on air, but um, that's not a problem. And of course, you've got your settings menu and it's nicely laid out. So all in all, um, it's, a, it's a great radio. Oh, and yes, I must, uh, must have forgotten to mention this. You've got your function menu. And in your function menu, you can, uh, I'll go back to my monitor scope because I like that. Um, you can see what's turned on. I'll turn notch off. I'll turn noise blinker off. I've got my transmit bandwidth, my monitor, my compressor. It's all there, ready to go. IP plus, all with the function button. So I really like it. I think it's a really well laid out, um, well thought out radio. And it's got everything your average shack needs. Now, when I say average shack, I don't mean to, to be dismissive. When I got this radio, I didn't, I didn't even bother looking at high-end rigs and drooling over them for months. In fact, it took the release of the 7610 uh, before I even thought about buying another rig. That's how good it is. And it's just so cheap. Even the stock microphone that comes with them feels well built and gets great audio reports. So all in all, the, not only is there some, some really simple wins in my mind, like the, the better fit and finish and, and the fact it's got a notch button, um, but you know, it has all the features you generally need in, in a radio of a small to medium sized ham shack that previously were not offered in this price range at all. It's got that beautiful full speed scope um, and it's really, really easy to use. I never read the manual on this radio. So I just think it's a fantastic value radio and you know, there's a few things that it undeniably has over the IC7610. So basically what I'm trying to say is, um, you know, if you haven't got a big, a big linear, if you haven't got a, a big antenna tuner, if you haven't got a big beam, if you don't have nice meters and power supplies and that sort of gear, this is the radio for you. It has everything you need. And to top it all off, in the latest Sherwood reports, when you turn IP plus on, this radio is um, has a dynamic range of 94, 94 decibels. Now, surprisingly, it's big brother, the IC7610, with all its pre-selectors and everything under the sun, with IP plus on, only has a dynamic range of 98. So there's only four decibels of receiver dynamic range. This is uh, the two kilohertz figure, the tough one, in the two radios. Unbelievable. In my mind, this thing is a real winner. I've never experienced buyer's regret with it. And to be honest, if it wasn't for the fact that I just had aspirations to own a bigger radio, I would have kept it and not regretted it one little bit. So. Yeah, there's just a, just a few things that uh, I think IC7300 owners would like to hear from someone who's got, uh, got both radios in the shack and can, pick, and can compare them. 73 from VKBL, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, we'll be back to our usual 7610 uh, content very shortly. Um, thanks again everyone, please, uh, please comment, please subscribe, please uh, get in touch with me any way you like. Absolutely love all of uh, all of the emails and the comments and that sort of thing. And um, once again, a big thank you to uh, Scott uh, Whiskey uh, X Ray Zero Victor. Um, 
he's uh, he's we've exchanged emails. Uh, he said very nice things about my videos, and uh, I've really loved his videos too. I actually think they're better quality than mine. But um, um, check out his channel. Uh, he's 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 told me that he's going to be more into DXing in the future. So. Um, that's certainly an interest of mine, and if it's an in interest of yours, um, I think it's worth uh, having a look at his channel and subscribing too. So, anyway, um, I'll catch you later, guys, and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Cheers!